our fourth story in the top five. 3D printers can do just about anything these days, even protect us from nuclear disaster. Jay McFarland shows us how these printers are changing the way we work and live in tonight's browser. All right, we've talked a lot about 3D printing, but take a look at this. This is a group on Kickstarter. They have a milling machine. It's available for $2,000. They say it's better than 3D printing because you can use various materials and it only costs about $2,000. They also say it's more accurate. They went on Kickstarter and have tripled the amount of money that they've asked for so far. So I'm sure you're gonna see that coming to an office place near you. Also, this is from the University of London. They've developed the first drone 3D printer. The idea is that if there's a nuclear disaster, this 3D printer can fly in and, can, and it can actually build structures around a nuclear leak or it could move it to another location. And then finally, one of my favorites, this bicycle looks a little bit different, doesn't it? It's a hubless bicycle and it actually folds up. You can see it almost in the size of a suitcase. This could go in the carry-on compartment of an airplane or it could sit next to your desk. It looks really strange when you're riding it. I don't know how much it's gonna cost. It's in development right now, but I'm gonna get me one. All right, that's it from the browsers. Now back to you. Thanks, Jay. Okay, check out this. Have you ever wondered what Dan